Yo, peace world. It's Kimo Freeman live in St. Louis, Missouri. Uh, talking to uh, some young ladies to get some real context to the situation that the mainstream media is not bringing to you. That's what we're here to do. We at Grail do something sponsored by Color of Change. I'm joined here with Rihanna and Olivia, the young, gifted, and black. And here's the question. The verdict from this, uh, the prosecutor came out at eight, um, uh, after 8 o'clock at night. Do you think that was purposely done to incite a riot and to take the, the attention off um, the way that they got it, a non-indictment? What do you think about that? Well, I think, I definitely think it was thought out because they had a lot of time. They could have done it in the light of day where everybody can see everything. They chose to do it in the dark of the night, which does two things. One, you can make sure people can't fly. So you you got a media blackout. It's dark. People have to, I mean, you can't see what's going on. So the police have an advantage there. And, and that was definitely done tactically. They thought maybe people wouldn't come out because it's so late. But that's not the case. People still came out, which is good. Olivia? Um, my thing is, people know what happens when they're angry. It's, it's, it's uh, been shown through history, white and black people, um, raiding, um, Writing, all kinds of things. When your sports team loses, you go out and you knock a car over, something like that. I'm positive it was strategic, um, and I think it was unnecessary, the whole thing. I think they could have announced it um, in the morning, um, the daytime, um, maybe not even announced it how he announced it, where he was trying to cut uh, the... What's the word I'm looking for? He, he was, was trying, trying to, to uh, dilute the witnesses, um, all of them. He wasn't crediting them. He basically discredited everyone who spoke about the situation. Discredited all of them. Basically yeah. discredited every witness testimony. Right. He presented the, the evidence that he agreed with. Exactly. He knew from jump that he wasn't going to support us or my crew because of his father's you know, death with the cop. And he's never come up, he's never stood up for citizens against cops, ever. He's always on the cop side. So he presented evidence to the grand jury that supported what he already believed. And the, the, the very makeup of the jury was nine whites right. and, 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 and three blacks. Right. So you needed and, nine. And you, all you needed was nine. So it was like a guaranteed win-win. Yeah. So he announced it at night to cover darkness. I think your announcement was spot on in terms of that was t uh, a tactical advantage for the police. And also, the, as the same thing we mentioned earlier, to deflect the fact that he was leading the non-indictment. The fact that he had a hand-picked grand jury. You know, to deflect the attention from that and focus just on the continued criminalization of the, you know, the, you know, the legitimate, righteous indignation of the people who didn't accept the grand jury verdict. Right? So, finally, um, tomorrow is the holiday. Do you think they also timed it so that uh, the holiday would deflate this? Do you think that uh, people that's going to go home and spend time with their families, do you think this is going to be a blow to the movement? What do you think is going to happen for Turkey Day and Black Friday going forward? I think they don't understand who they're working with. Clearly, they exactly. underestimate nothing can deflate this. I actually go to school about it. It's really tough for me. Uh, hard educating people down there, especially the white people. Uh, they don't really know that racism still exists. I had a conversation, they were like, where would you rather be in Alabama or St. Louis? And I said, I'm not sure. <laughs> no, I don't know where we I are. I don't know where I would be. You know? I, I, I'm right, maybe not even here in America, because all of you guys are confused. But um, I don't think Turkey Day, Thanksgiving, I don't think it's going to ruin the movement, just because you see the people who are out here, everyone is extremely passionate about this. And we know that right now is when it matters. Uh, the, right now is when it matters. Even the movies that are coming out show time for change. Uh, Mockingjay, Hunger Games, uh, Selma's coming out soon with mm -hmm. the Martin Luther King story. All of this is basically a sign from God saying, get up and, and, and we have talk the about Till, it. Um, 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 uh, they're commemorating the Emmett Till. Right. Which really kicked off the civil rights movement. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But, um, so all these things, that they think, they really don't understand who they're dealing with. It's not just black people. I mean, black people have a fire, we always have, but now we have gotten other people with us. You see the people out here, uh, not even people in this country, uh, Palestine, uh, the Tibetan monks, everyone is talking about Ferguson. The whole world is watching Ferguson. Dictators from other countries like Germany and Korea are asking the U.S., well, why are you pointing fingers at us? You can't even control your own people. They know, everybody knows. So. Thanksgiving just gonna have to be a little black today. Well, one of my favorite jazz artists, I'm gonna turn y'all on to him, his name is Gregory Porter. 
Gregory Porter has a song called 1960, and it goes, 1960 what? 1960 who? Because he basically said that with seeing what's going on, you can't tell what year it is. You can't tell where you are. Are you in St. Louis? Are you in New York? Are you in Selma, Alabama? Are you in Birmingham? You know? And so that we have uh, a conundrum because, you know, on one hand, you have 100 plus days of nonstop protesting from young people. How old are you? Uh, 23. Ariana, 23. Olivia? 21. 21. So rather than you being, uh, young people have been um, embraced and, 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 and thankful they do something that's for their patriotism, you know, because that's what patriotism is. It's been involved with the political processes in your country. That's what patriotism is. It's not blindly loving a flag. Right. It's fighting for what the country's principles are supposed to be, right? Okay, but instead of that, they're criminalizing you because of some righteous indignation and property damage. When they are basically saying what Martin Luther King said before, their riots are the voice of the unheard. Right. So if they're not going to respect um, your, our lives, why should we respect their property? Right. You know, those arguments, and, you know, exactly. So those arguments are not being expressed and that context is not being covered in the uh, mainstream media. So we want to thank you guys for stepping up, all right? And like you said, when you put it down to time, when the time is now, I want you to your words back. Oh, I said, <laughs> well, we got to run. dance today. It's here. It's right yes. now. We are creators going to be here. Color Change going to be here. And these sisters going to be here. We want to thank uh, Ariana and Olivia for doing something. All right? Thank you. All right. Peace. We at Radio. Color Change. Do something. We at Radio. Do something.